so the first thing you're going to do is just draw an X on a tile and then this will help you find the center of the tile. Step two is you're going to glue your balloon stick onto the tile. Now don't make the mistake like me and put the glue on the tile first because it wasn't that big. So glue it down and then I just add some extra glue for reinforcement. Step three is to connect your two balloon straws, I'm gonna call them, because I don't know what they're called. But basically, you're gonna use a straw to connect both of them. Now, you'll see down in the video later on, I actually take it apart because it ended up being too tall. But if you want your balloon centerpiece to be a tall centerpiece, obviously, you would wanna include this step. Otherwise, skip over to step number four. Step number four is to blow your five inch balloons. Now I connected the straw stand together, but as you can see, like I said, it's way too big um, and it wasn't for me. So I actually got five inch balloons in two different colors and I'm using the hand pump. Mind you, this video was recorded a long time ago before I even had my balloon machine. So this was ideal at the time, but you wanna make sure you're not blowing them too big. Step five is to add the balloons to the stand along with adding a streamer for the middle so it kind of makes it look pretty. And this is really easy. Um, you just have to put some glue on the one end and just kind of turn it around so that way it looks somewhat nice. You can use any type of ribbon for this. Step six is to build the balloon cluster for the top of the centerpiece. Now, obviously you can see in the background, I blew up a lot, way more balloons than what I needed. So you just need a few of them just to connect and then all you have to do is just kind of place it and then kind of turn them around so that way the colors are dispersed. And then you just kind of put it on top of the balloon stand because it fits right over it. Step seven is to set your table. There is a little trick that I learned from my sister when she worked at Bed Bath & Beyond. She used to do all these gift registries and have to always do tissue paper with the bags. So she told me she's just like grab it from the middle and then you pull it and then kind of let the rest of it fluff out. And then it makes this pretty, I don't know, design or whatever. And I kind of utilize that for the napkins. 